welcome to another episode. This time standing on top of a random hill maybe, but uh, I just want to get you guys into today's project before actually building something and uh, like I usually do. But this time it's a little bit different and that's because we are going to start a project today that's going to expand and take at least two, maybe three, maybe more episodes to actually show off the whole building process and the whole building in itself. We are uh, just uh, beyond the village and everything that I have shown beforehand. So you can see we have our UFO over here with the creeper farm and if I just uh, rise myself up a little bit here with the camera mod you can see our uh, base over there and I can also the village that I have just uh, removed the villagers from and why are we in this place then well I want to show you guys this area here where we have this pretty large plains biome which uh, which are bordered by a flower forest here some forest here and some mountains and uh, hills on the other side this is going to be the project place for today's episode and uh, it's going to be future <laughs> project places as well because this is rather perfect for what I want to build today. I have had a long dream uh, of building a castle in Minecraft and uh, yeah, of course the rain is going to fall. Yeah, uh, we'll have to wait for, for it to stop here. But uh, yeah, I can talk about it at, uh, at least instead. So what I was said is that I have a big dream or had, have had a big dream in Minecraft and that's to build a castle. A big castle and a large of it because uh, Minecraft aesthetics and blocks uh, really make for making medieval and castle builds. They are very easy to, to do with the color palette that we have and uh, I have yet to do it because I don't have any designs in mind and uh, I didn't frankly have the time or either the knowledge on how to build these castles. Right now I have been working in the behind scenes on my creative world and I built a castle and uh, we are going to pick out the, that bed and I'm going to get rid of this rain right now. There we are. Nice and uh, sunny again so we can get a feel for the whole area. So what I was talking about. I want to build a big castle and uh, this is going to be the place for it. It's uh, completely uh, the most best thing about it. We have this sort of area that are a little bit uh, surrounded by other uh, types of areas, but we also have the plains biome where it's easy to build because we don't have to remove a lot of stuff. I just need to terraform the place a little bit so it's more flatter around this area here where I'm going to place the castle. But what I also want to do is not just plonk a castle down and say oh that's fine I want to tell a story about it so what I've done is that I also took the idea that I had for I think it was my first season that I actually did this in where I had or maybe second season first season or second season I'm uh, not completely sure right now but uh, I had the idea for to make bases inside each and every one of the biomes in Minecraft. So for example, I remember I did a jungle tree uh, base. I also did, I think, a base inside of a badlands biome and uh, also did a desert pyramid and everything like that in the desert. So I have tried out the concept and I really like to sort of adapt buildings to the different biomes or different areas in Minecraft. And with that idea formed, I I wanted to get uh, this castle to do the same thing. So the castle in itself is going to be sort of medieval like I have spoken about but around this whole area where we have a lot of different grounds we are going to build uh, different guilds I think I'm going to call them where each and every one of them is going to be a trade guild so they each have uh, a couple of materials blocks that they trade uh, and in my sort of scenario, the, the picture, the story that I'm telling. 
I need to have the castle sort of be the center point and then we have all sorts of different buildings around here that are the guilds that sort of trade with the castle, maybe trade with each other and sort of get an, get a little bit of a story inside of here. It's not fully fleshed out like usual, I just have this concept idea and then we'll build about it, but I think that's going to work. I have so all sorts of different areas here, we have a little bit of a lake area here with an island inside of it where I want to put a uh, water-based uh, uh, guild but we also have other stuff so we have a little bit of a hill here I may do one uh, one of them inside of here and then we also have a little bit of everything so I think that's going to be great and we also can place a lot of the guilds uh, on top of the hills we can make them underground we can move them around and then just place them where we want to I think we have enough space for everything and then of course the centerpiece is going to be the castle in the middle here so this is the idea for today's episode and the coming episodes as I've said and uh, I need to start uh, actually gathering all of the materials that we're going to need for the castle we are going to need 64 shulka boxes of just uh, deep um, of just stone and stone bricks and everything so it's going to take a little while we'll see each other once I've gotten all those materials so here comes a progress update on how we are doing with the castle I have not made that much of a progress in some sort of way but I also have made a lot of it because I've done a lot of things here to begin with, I have changed up the ground to uh, match a little bit what you can maybe hopefully find in a castle with a little bit of a pathway here. I don't yet know if I'm going to keep all of this or if I'm going to change it out, but right now it's going to stay because I like it. And uh, after that I put in all of the outer walls and all of the sort of footprint of the whole castle that we can have here so I can explain to you guys a little bit and show you how big it actually is. And uh, what every function it has as well. I also needed to terraform a little bit of course so we have uh, a bit of a hill here that I maybe be putting back a little bit because I didn't know where exactly the castle walls were coming to come to so that's why we have these cut off pieces but uh, that's going to be a future project after <laughs> after the whole castle is built because then we can get a feel for where we want to make the land. If I go up in our free cam here, you can see the whole castle build. Of course, where I'm standing right now, we have the entrance where we have this uh, big gate that's going to be here. And then we have uh, the whole wall and tower thing going on. So uh, front entrance here, we're going to have two towers on each side. And uh, then walls in between those. And we have one big tower here, one big tower here. And then we have some small towers that's going to be placed in that square, that square, that square, that circle, and uh, that square as well, and that square, I think. Yes, that should be correctly. And then the main building of the castle, because uh, with the design I've gone for, uh, I have sort of made a big building where you have, uh, for example, the king or the, the royal family would have lived uh, later on or before in time. It's going to be made here. We have done outcropping building over here where you can see a little bit of having three buildings in one. Uh, it's going to have some balconies, I think, if I remember the design correctly. So yeah, that's the whole sort of footprint of our castle. It's of course going to be built a little bit higher as well, uh, not just one block high. It's going to uh, go, uh, as you can see here, with the, the box. Um, the highest towers, which is, uh, I think if I remember correctly, the big one there and the big one there, they are going to reach the most highest point up there. So it's a very big building and it's going to take a little while. Like I said, I had lot, uh, lots of materials, not 64 shulker boxes. I remembered uh, incorrectly when it comes to that. I had another build that was 64 shulker boxes of uh, material. But here we have all of the uh, brick, stone bricks. So I think it's, yeah, it's four times four, so 16. And then we have a little bit of uh, different ends and bobs. For example, I have some prismarine in here 
we have all sorts of uh, all the other different stone blocks here, uh, except for the stone bricks and uh, in the brown ones here I had most of the dirt and um, brown type blocks and then we have some uh, grass over here as well that I uh, ended up not using because most of it was already placed since we made it in this sort of biome over here but I decided to go for it because I don't, didn't know what how much grass I needed for this part so that's everything as of now a small progress update but uh, I think that most of the bulk of the build is going to be built either uh, on a time lapse or in a time lapse or off camera because it's very hard to, to make uh, building uh, the same thing over and over again uh, funny so or enjoyable to watch. So I'm going to take uh, small bits and pieces of time lapses here and there and also build a lot of it off camera. And then we'll get another progress update when I feel like we need to make one. Hope you enjoy it and we'll see each other after this short break. After that time lapse, you can see that we have gone with a lot of progress in this castle build. I wanted to check in with you guys uh, once more since I don't want to finish everything in just one go, even though it's going to be in one episode. I wanted to sort of show off the, the bare bones that we have right now. I have only use the stone bricks uh, except for in this tower where I needed to use the uh, wall types as well as to to continue on with the rest of the building a little bit easier so that's why I have built it here but as you can see we are missing a lot of details that's going to go into this build I have for example need of filling in all of these gaps some of them are going to turn into windows we also need to to uh, take some rooftops and everything like that and get the whole building to sort of feel finished because right now it just looks like some sort of a building project as of this moment which it is so it's nothing wrong with that like I said, I just wanted to check in and show you guys a little bit of how the progress is looking. And you can now maybe get a little bit of a feeling for how big the castle is going to be. You saw the footprint uh, last time, but now you can see also uh, how the height comes in and how all of the different towers and everything uh, works together to make up this whole building. And like I said before, this area here is going to be the sort of main building where you can have have residence and everything and then all of these towers are going to be here to make up for the look and uh, some of them are on their real height uh, some of them just need to to get the rooftops on top uh, for example I think that one and that one are on their actual height uh, differences we also have these two towers out here I just need to plonk a little bit of uh, uh, window seals on it and then a roof and some towers like this one and that one the highest ones are not yet to actually reach the highest point for them because uh, I need other blocks to continue on with the building rather than the stone bricks but I found the, the building uh, process to be rather fun to actually build with just one type of block and then fill in all of the areas that I can. I gone with mostly using one tower at a time so uh, first and foremost I went with walls and then put in uh, towers and then working my way upwards and then when I reached more of the layer where not all towers were needed to make it I went tower by tower instead as you've seen in the time lapse of course. So that's where we are in the progress 
progress of this and I need to start detailing. I need to start putting uh, all of the other blocks. Right now we have just been in this shulk box uh, <laughs> color to pick out blocks to place and now we need to finish off with all of the other ones. Hopefully it's going to be some time lapses, maybe one more progress update and then we hopefully finish with this. After a lot of building and as you saw in the time lapse, a lot of towers has been built and also a lot of the details had been put in. I have just one thing left on each and every one of these towers and that's putting in the rooftops. I just wanted to check in with you guys a little bit before actually putting those in because right now, uh, as you can see, we have a very monochrome building. It's very grey, very, very much grey. Uh, all of the blocks either, either are a light grey like the andesite blocks here or they are a, a bit darker in the form of uh, our stone bricks and then we have a little bit of a different texture in the form of acacia wood uh, logs that I have here. It builds a little bit of a structure to everything. But yeah, like I said, monochrome, it's very, very gray uh, sort of color scheme. And that's what we are after with putting in some roof right now so I can get a different color. We're going to, of course, use these dark prismarine uh, blocks. And uh, I'm really excited to actually put something on here because I have built with a lot of these gray materials right now. So I'm really looking forward to actually put in some of the prismarine to get that finished on this build. Uh, except for that, of course, we have all of the other stuff. I just want to, to go in here and show you guys a little bit on how it looks beforehand. You can see all the details around the windows. I put in all of the tower details as well. We still have some uh, stuff to do because, as you can see, I still have the inventory full of blocks. And that's because I need to uh, build up some stuff. And some of it is needed to build after I actually build the roofs. So, so I need to make space in my inventory for roof blocks as well. And then I can continue on building with the grey stuff as well uh, and detail the rooftops as well as need be. Okay, so after weeks and weeks of uh, building, gathering, everything in between, we have a finished castle before us. And I'm really proud of it, as you probably can tell from both my voice, but also that I have worked a lot on this uh, in the couple of last uh, minutes for you guys. But like I said, I've been working on this for weeks. We now have finished rooftops on each and every one of the towers that need it, and of course on top of the actual main house. And uh, I'm going to just land here a little bit. You got the sort of uh, far away view, but here you can see it up close. And uh, yeah, it it doesn't look that different from since you saw it last time, since I only added the roofs. But I think they do a lot for the whole building. It looks a lot more finished. We also get that little, little bit splash of color that I was talking about to sort of uh, break up everything. And you can see that... It sort of uh, does that. We we have some of the rooftops that makes uh, it a little bit harder to see other towers and you don't see the whole thing on the same time. And then, of course, having little bits of here and there. Uh, from this view, you don't see much difference. We have all sorts of different stuff here and uh, it looks the same uh, as on... Uh, yeah, as an overview or, or something like that. I don't really know what to actually talk about because I'm just so relieved that we are finished with the whole thing. And uh, yeah, this part I have shown, so maybe we should do something like this. So I will stand here and we use the free cam to go and look at it from a little bit more above since it's easier to use the free cam rather than just me flying around. So here you have a little bit of an overview of it and then we get a little bit more splash of color because I decided to go for prismarine walkways that you can have here. I have a couple of them and uh, they make up a little bit of this whole thing. I was thinking of putting in some of this prismarine inside of the tower. So for example, when uh, do I have anything uh, easy to have here? 
maybe something like this. So here we have windows, but I could have gone for prismarine walls instead and maybe added a little bit more of a color. But I also thought that they, that would maybe had made the castle a little bit too busy because I wouldn't have been able to stop myself from putting it in. So uh, I... I think it was uh, uh, enough to just have walkways here and the color in the form of these rooftops. If we go a little bit up above more, you can see uh, a very different view of it. And I really like it from, uh, from this angle and, uh, of course, from other angles up here. I think it looks better from the, from the overview rather than having it uh, where I'm standing uh, inside of the castle, actually. I don't know what it is, but something makes it... Uh, I think it looks, I don't know, more dynamic or something. I, I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, we still have this whole thing going on. And uh, like I said, maybe we're going to use it for future farms or something as a third place. I am thinking of maybe trying to decorate it a little bit and maybe able, be able to actually walk around in the castle. But uh, because right now... All the floors are on the ground level. I have not put in any floors or stairs or anything like that inside of here. But I would have really liked to actually be able to actually not just fly up here, instead walk up here and then use this sort of uh, uh, walkway to look down into, into the castle and also out here on the uh, ground that you can see and have here. And I... Uh, I'm for sure that if I wouldn't have uh, uh, made this so late in the season where I have changed bases uh, not just once but twice, I think that I would have liked to actually have this castle as a base uh, to, to begin with. But uh, it was a late uh, game project because the stone needed are for very very uh, big resources and I didn't have uh, that stone in the beginning and I didn't want to go out and actually mine it. So uh, I had a fortunate pass of making this later on. Like I said, maybe farms in the future. Right now though, we are finished with this whole build and like I said, I'm really relieved and I'm happy that it's here. We'll see what it brings us in the future because we have not left this place. I'm going to build more stuff here as I've talked about. If you enjoyed this episode, that I hope you did, uh, maybe leave a like, comment on the episode, tell me what you liked about it. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future episodes. We'll see each other. Goodbye.